you have favored us. Lord, we do not take your grace and favor for granted, but we have come to you to say thank you. Thank you for every way in which you have been looking after us. Thank you for every wonderful things you have done for us. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for giving us all that we need for life. We give you all the glory, our Father. Please accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father and our God, just as Moses said, he said, if your presence will not go up from here with us, we will not even make a move. So Lord, if you are not in our gathering of today, it has no meaning. It makes no sense. And Father, because we don't want to gather in vain, we pray that your spirit will reign among us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever we are joining from individually or families or wherever we are connecting from, we pray that you will feel the spirit of God more than ever before in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Each and every one of us, we have, we have fresh encounters with the Lord Jesus Christ today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And our lives will never remain the same. Amen. Take all glory, Father. Amen. Forever we will honor you. Amen. Thank you, our heavenly Savior. Thank you, For Lord. in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are Yahweh, and you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are, you are, you are Yahweh, Alpha. Hallelujah. Oh my God, Miss Galilee. Oh 
Let's give thanks to this great God. The one who has never gone back on his word. He has never failed us. He has never let us down. Let's give praise for his presence. For his faithfulness. Let all men be liars. This God is not a liar. He's dependable. He's reliable. Let's give praise. Let's give thanks to this reliable and dependable God. Let's give thanks. Let's praise His holy name. We have depended on Him and we have never been ashamed. So for that reason, let's give thanks this morning. Father, we give you thanks. We thank you. You are dependable. Yes, you are reliable. We can say it only, Lord, because you are reliable. We praise you this morning. We have depended on you and we have never been ashamed. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you are forever faithful. We praise your holy name, faithful God. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Jehovah. Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Reliable God, dependable Father. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. Blessed be the Father, name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Reliable, reliable God. Reliable God. Reliable, reliable God. Dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. God. Let's give thanks again because the support of God for us is constant. Ever constant. He is our support system. He is the power that backs us. And this power never fails. So for this reason, let's give thanks this morning. Let's give praise. Shall we give thanks, Father, in the name of Jesus? We thank you. We thank you because you are consistent. You are reliable. You are our support system and you are constant. Father, we praise you because you have never let us down. You are always there. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. We praise your holy name. Thank you, our Redeemer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you, thank you Lord. Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. It gives us joy to know you that you are constant peace. and you are faithful. Father, we praise your holy our name. Rest. We have come to say our to you that food. you are a kind Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. You. For in Jesus' mighty you. name, we have given thanks. Amen. Brethren, let's give praise for how far the Lord has brought us. We started this month and now we are near the very end. Let's give thanks for the journey of September. You, Lord. The Lord God has been with us. If one goes to bed without the support and backing of God, they may not wake up. And yet we sleep and we wake up. We see the day we go about. The Lord God is protecting us. Shall we give thanks? Father, Father and our God, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for how far you have brought us. Thank you for the journey of September. We have seen you, we have seen your hand. Father, we give you all the glory because you have been with us and you are always with us. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord Almighty. We give you all the glory. We glorify you because it has been you. Every step of the way, it has been you. You are So, Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. We praise your holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' Lord. mighty name we have given thanks. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Amen. Brethren, I want us to pray this morning. In fact, it's a, continu- it's a continuation of a prayer we prayed overnight. And I pray the Lord will hearken unto our voices this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians 15 from verse 9. Verse 9 to 11 says, for I am the least of the apostles, and do not even deserve 
to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by grace of God, I am what I am. Amen. And by his grace to me was and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I walked harder than all of them, yet not I. But the grace of God that was with me, whether then it was I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you believe. This morning we are going to ask for the grace of God. If we examine the journey of apostles, if we, we look to if when we look at these Bible verses, we understand that it was written by it was said by Apostle Paul, and he was describing himself, saying that the list he was meant to be the list of the apostles. When Simon, when Peter, when the rest of them were gathered, when Jesus was gathering them, when they were leaving their jobs, their livelihood, when they were leaving their families following Jesus to the wilderness, to this mountain, to that river. This guy was busy persecuting the church. He was busy throwing Christians in jail. He came last. And he was saying, I, I don't even deserve to be called an apostle. But why am I so relevant? The reason I'm so relevant today is nothing but the grace of God. It is true that I've worked harder than them, but that hard work has not come from me. It has even come from the grace of God. So this morning, I want us to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus and say, Father, give me your grace. Grace is not concerned with where we came from, what family, whether we were born with slippers spoons or plastic spoon. Grace makes up for what we lack in every area. So this morning, I want us to ask for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. As he gave us to Paul, that the Lord will shower us with his grace, shall we pray? Father, in the Father, mighty in the name of Jesus, Jesus, almighty God, we desire mighty your grace. So Lord, this morning, I pray that you will give me your grace in the name of Jesus as you gave your grace to our to Paul. And what he never thought he would do, what he never thought he would do before he became. So Lord, this morning, we pray for your grace. We pray that you will bless us with your grace in the name of Jesus. Father, give us your grace in the name of Jesus. Please in give us your grace, O oh Lord. I in the mighty the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we pray for your grace, that your grace will be upon us more than that. ever before. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, Lord, bless us with your grace. grace. In the grace name of, of Jesus. Father, give us your grace. grace. In the name of Jesus. Father, give us your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me your grace. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. So Peter mm. and the rest of them, mm. they had their schooling, their education, their teaching from Jesus. God himself, from Jesus. But this guy was not even ready then. He was still going around his own business. And yet he came. Oh, no Lord. Bible school. Grace. Nothing. Grace. And yet he over he over Grace. he over he overcame them. Grace. I mean he he, he led he became a leader among Grace. them. Let's go upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Your it Grace. is grace that makes the poor Grace. so beautiful that even the Pour rich look at them and think, ah. Oh, where, where all of a sudden this one does show. Grace. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus and say, Father. Give more me grace, your grace. grace. Pour your grace upon Pour me. Grace Pour upon your grace life. upon my life. Upon Shall we grace. pray? Father, Father in the name of Jesus. Jesus. That you will Father, give us your pray, grace Lord, in the name of Jesus. Your grace upon Father, your Lord, we pray. That you will give us your grace. Pour your grace upon me. In the name of Jesus, I desire your grace. Father, give me your grace. More grace. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray. That you will give us your grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, give us your grace. In the name of Jesus. Father, give us your grace. Give us your grace. Father, pour your grace upon my life. Pour your grace upon my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord God. Might give me your grace, Father. Let your grace find me, let your grace, grace locate me, Father. Pour your grace upon my, my life and upon my house. Thank you, down. my every to remove value in Jesus' in the name mighty Jesus. name. We are afraid, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid, amen. Another Bible verse is Second Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, from verse 30 says, If I must boast, 
I will boast of the things that show my weakness. God and the Father of the Lord Jesus, who is to be praised forever, knows that I am not lying. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas at the city of, but I was lowered in a basket from a window, so I will, I will miss the name of the cities. In a window in the wall and slip through his hand. He said, if I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. And what Paul was trying to say there is, look, my weakness are so visible, but I have the opportunity to hide behind grace. So that weakness is not what you now see. Is you know you don't have to enjoy the pain from my weakness. You enjoy the glory from the grace of God because I hide behind the grace of God. So even the the weakest of people, when the grace of God come upon them, people will see them differently. The weakest of people will operate in levels that they do not that they don't belong to. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. And grace does not only apply to spiritual life, it applies to every area of our life. Let's pray that the Lord Almighty will release his grace upon our lives. The grace that we relegate our weakness. And we glorify the name of the Lord alone. We come upon us this morning, shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we pray in the name of Jesus. That you will release your grace upon us. Grace of the Lord most high. That we relegate our weakness to the lowest. That we bring our weakness under control. That we glorify the name of the Lord Jesus. Father Lord, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. In the name of Jesus. Father, pour your grace upon us. In the name of Jesus. Father, pour your grace upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, we pray that you will pour your grace upon our life. Pour your grace upon our life. In the name of Jesus. Pour your grace upon our life. Grace to win souls for you. Grace, grace to pray more. Grace to fast more. Grace, that's grace to live holy life. Weakness. In Father, the name of Jesus. Grace to please you. And let your in name all my be glorified. In the name of Thank Jesus. you, our Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' in mighty name, name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Second Corinthians 12 from verse 8 says, Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. That is his weakness. That is the sickness that he had in his body. He, were, he, he was going about as Jesus did, healing the sick, doing all sorts. But his own sickness also persisted. And he said three times, I have prayed to God to take this sickness away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. So grace, when it's upon us, may not totally remove the problem that we see. But the grace of God will give us the enablement to ride over that weakness and problem. The grace of God will give us the enablement to function as God intends for us to function in this earth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus and say, Father, let your grace be sufficient for me. In every area of my life, maritally, in my work, in my hope, in my spiritual life, let your grace alone be sufficient for me. Wherever I'm lacking, wherever it looks like I'm going to fall off, let your grace catch me, shall we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Almighty Father, I pray Almighty this morning, let your grace be sufficient let for me sufficient for in all areas where I'm lacking, in all areas where it looks like I'm going to fall off. Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, I pray that your grace will always catch me. In the name of Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me. In the name of Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me. Let your grace be sufficient for me. In the name of Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me, O Lord. Give us your grace this morning. Let your grace be poured upon our lives. Let your grace be poured upon us. And let your name alone be glorified. In, in Jesus, Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. This is the last prayer for this session. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. I see grace as something like this. It's like you put, you say, boats 
who is, I believe, is the current fastest man in the world. So you put him and myself in a in a relay, in a sprint. Now, all he has to do is by the time I blink two times, he has already completed his own part of the journey. I am still trying to get myself to somewhere. But grace is what caught the distance between the fastest mm. runner and the one who cannot run at all. It is that grace that will cut it short. So the grace will go behind and bring the snail to come and meet the leopard in the front. Jesus. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace of God Jesus. went and brought forth. He was going on another of his evil trips to jail another set of Christians. Even God went looking for him. Grace. God went to meet him on his way. Grace. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord. When the grace of God is fully grace. upon us, this world, this grace. wicked world will not be able to entice us. This God. wicked world will not be able to overcome and overpower us. Grace, grace of God will catch us whenever we fall. Grace. Let's call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Grace. And say, Father, Embrace me. Pour your grace upon me. Pour your grace upon my life. Pour your grace upon my journey in this world. Shall we pray? Father and God, we pray. Lord and grace us. In the name of Jesus. Pour your grace upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon our lives, upon our journey. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Lord God Almighty, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. For your grace upon me, Lord. For your grace upon my Lord. In our journey, in our daily living, in our Christian life, Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will pour your grace upon us. Father, we pray that you will let your grace be upon Father, our life. Father, give us your grace in abundance. Jesus. In the mighty name of mighty Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. His grace will be sufficient for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, God will pour His grace upon us. Ever than before, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every impossibility in our life today, by the virtue of God's grace, shall be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. I want you to steer your heart this morning to pray and to give him praise. Say, Lord, I thank you. For what you are about to do in my life today, open your mouth and praise. Father, Father in, in the name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus steer Lord, your heart, steer yourself. You. I Steer yourself to give him praise. To Begin to look my life today. Uh, to I God, the author and finisher of our faith. Begin to give him praise for, me today. for what he's going to do amidst us this morning. this morning. Begin to appreciate him. For because what God will do great and mighty things. He will revive us today. again. Thank you give for him what praise. About give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. The Bible says in all things families, we should pray and give supplication and thanksgiving. Now begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him praise for what God is about to do. For virtue is about to drop into your life. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for your presence here this morning. May your name forever be praised. In Jesus mighty name we pray amen i want you to call the name of jesus and, and say god revive my life again redeem my life again 
and lift me up. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Father in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus of Father, I pray, O Lord, that you will revive my life revive again. My life again. Revive, revive my life again, O Lord. Redeem my life again. Restore me. Restore my loss. In the name of Jesus. Revive me. Revive my life again. And restore me. And lift me up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, God shall visit us and redeem us in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God will rest upon us and do signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Our life shall never remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Today shall be a day of honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today shall be a day of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. May your name forever be praised. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. Amen. 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 Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. God bless you wherever you are listening to us, wherever you are looking at us. All shall be well with you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our Bible to the book of Osea. Let somebody read Osea 1 to 3. Revival is the presence of God. Amen. Amen. You want to talk about revival briefly? So we can have the understanding. And we can pray with understanding. It's all about prayer. It's, all, it's not about praying at time. It's about praying with understanding. When we do things with understanding, yes, that is when we, we have resolved. So we not pray without understanding today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anybody there? Osea, chapter 6. Let's read 1 to 3, please. Just to show us that revival is the presence of God. Come, mm -hmm. let us return to the Lord. Let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, mm -hmm. but he will heal us. Amen. He has injured us. But he will bind up our wounds. Amen. After two days, he will revive us. Amen. On the third day, he will restore us. Amen. That we may live in his presence. Hallelujah. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Yes, Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. Amen. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. Amen. He will come to us like the winter rains. Amen. Like the spring rains that the that waters the earth. That's enough. God bless you, man. Amen. We can see that. Revival is the presence of God. It's when we return to God, then he will return to us. He will restore us. He will redeem us. Then he will lift us up in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 40. I read verse 31. No, let me start from 28. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the hands of the head, never faints, nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no mind. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord, shall renew their strength Amen. today our strength shall be renewed in the mighty name of jesus Amen. they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint hallelujah, hallelujah. so the process of renew our strength primarily comes that when we wait upon the lord if you cannot wait upon the lord your strength cannot be renewed where we just read now, promise us three things. If you can wait upon the Lord, upon the Lord. Number one, spiritual progress. Two, spiritual power. And three, spiritual strength. And we can continue to renew that as long we can come before him. As long we can tarry in the altar of prayer. As long we can study the word. As long we can maintain our relationship with God. But we continue to renew our strength because by no man, by no strength, no man shall prevail. 
according to the word of God in 4 Samuel 2 9. And just write it down. 4 Samuel 2 9 said, By no strength, no man shall prevail. Your own strength cannot do it. It is the strength of God. According to Philippians 4 13, I can do all things in Christ who strengthened me. I pray today our strength shall be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will mount up like eagle today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even before this revival service is over, what we could not do before, the grace of God will come upon us and we begin to do it in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The voice of God is going to come through you and Amen. penetrate through you and remove valley in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That shall be breakthrough today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our joy shall be full today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every wasted year shall be restored today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So revival is God's visitation. It's when God visits you. Let's read Luke 168. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Luke 1, Praise be to the Lord. Yes. The God of Israel. Amen. Because he has come mm -hmm. and has redeemed his people. Amen. Amen. So you can see. Grace, I mean, revival is God's visitation. And we know in the Bible, God visited so many people. God visited Abraham. So I'm sure he's going to visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You can write Genesis 12 down. He visited Anna. He visited Isaac, Jacob. He visited uh, Sarah. He visited Noah. He visited Paul. Many of them. So revival is God's visitation. And when God visits you, something must change. Something. Even things you don't ask for, you will do. So I'm sure today, even things you maybe you forget to ask in this prayer today, he will give you afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will give you as extra in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And when God visits, what is going to happen? When God visits you, that means God remembers you. Let's read uh, Genesis 8, verse 1. When God visits his people, it, it means God has remembered them. And God remembered Noah. But Genesis God 8, one. remembered Noah Amen. and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him. Amen. Yeah. And he sent a wind over Just the earth. Just verse 1. Amen. So today, God is going to remember you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We know that God remember her as well. He removed our reproach. Every reproach in our life today shall be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God remember Mordecai. King forgot about him. People forgot about him. But one day, Bible says, King could not sleep because of Mordecai. Today, God will remember you and send a pass to you in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. When God remember you, what is going to happen? One, He will redeem your life. Let's read Isaiah thirty-eight. Here we find the story of Ezekiah, the king. We are told that Ezekiah was sick unto death. And he prayed. And God sent prophet Isaiah to go and tell him that you are going to die. The Bible says, Isaiah prayed that God, I'm not ready to die. I still have so many things to do for you. God sent the prophet back. Go and tell him you are not going to die. And God added extra 15 years to his life. So today, I am very sure in the Lord that every wasted effort, God is going to redeem that today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will redeem you from destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will redeem you from poverty in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever challenges you are going through today, the Lord will redeem you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 38. Yes. From verse 1, please. In those days, mm -hmm. Ezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, was sent to him and said, This is what the Lord says. Put your house in order because you are going to die. You will not recover. Mm. Ezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully 
and with all utter devotion, and have done what is good in your eyes. And Ezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and tell Ezekiah. This is what the Lord, the God of your father, David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen to your tears. I will add 15 years to your life, and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city. This is the Lord's sign to you. That's all right. I want us to pray at that point. Let's call the name of Jesus. Say, Oh God of restoration. Oh God of restoration. Send salvation to me today. Send salvation. Send blessing to me today. Send Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray, oh, oh, God God oh God of restoration, visit me, visit me, visit me, and send salvation to me. Send your, send your salvation, salvation to me today. To me today. Send, your to me. send your blessing to me today. Oh God of restoration, visit me today. Oh God of restoration, visit me today and restore me and bless me and redeem me. In the name of Jesus, and revive me. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Lord shall redeem you in the mighty name of Jesus. God redeemed Joseph's life in Egypt in many things. When he was in prison, he suffered character assassination. God redeemed him from death. God redeemed him in so many ways. According to Psalm 109. Let's read Psalm 107. I will read Psalm 107, verse 20. They that cried out to the Lord in their trouble. Let somebody read 20. This is 19. Psalm 107, mm. verse 20. Start from 19, please. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, mm. and he saved them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. Amen. He rescued them from the grave. Amen. Let's pray. Oh Lord, visit me today Father, and send me salvation today. to send me. Salvation. Send deliverance to me. Send redemption to me. Let's begin to pray. Father, oh, in the name Father, of Jesus. In your mercy, Father, this visit morning, me Lord, today. visit me. Father, visit my and household send today deliverance and send to me. your salvation. Deliver Father, me, O Lord. Redeem me, O Lord. Jesus, Father, Lord. Restore me, O Lord. O God of salvation. Visit me. Visit me. Revive me today. Give my answer in the name of Jesus. Visit me and deliver. Me. Send deliverance Jehovah, to me. Lord God Almighty, Send joy my to me. Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God of restoration. Oh God of salvation. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Redeem me. Redeem me today. Send deliverance to me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God redeemed Daniel and his friend. He redeemed their lives from fire, from lions in Babylon, as we know. That same God is still alive. Yes. I'm very sure he's going to visit you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hebrews 13, 8 tells us, Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. So when God remembers you, he's going to revive you. Amen. He will revive you and he will restore you. Amen. Whatever you have lost, is coming back today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say the Lord will restore your losses in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As David recovered all. You will recover her too in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every lost glory shall be restored today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every lost joy shall be restored today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every lost honor Amen. shall be restored today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Say, Lord, restore my honor. Lord, restore my honor this morning. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. Open your mouth and pray. Restore my honor. Restore my honor this morning. 
Restore my glory. Whatever good they have lost, oh Lord, be restored. Be restored. Restore my strength. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, restore unto me my joy of salvation. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. Restore our blessing. In the name of Jesus. Whatever we have lost, that is in the camp of the enemy. We decree and declare now. We recover them. We recover her. We recover her. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. I use the authority in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy everything that belongs to you that is in the camp of enemy right now. Recover them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. You, Let's read Psalm 126. We are going to pray that prayer again. Father, restore me. Mm. Psalm 126. One to the end. You can read. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, yes, Lord. We were like men who mm. dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our Jesus. tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, fortune. like streams in Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. Amen. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow. We return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say to yourself, I am going to sing a new song. I am going to sing a new Even song. Even before this month is over. Even before this the month Lord will give over. me new songs. The Lord will give me a the new song. The Lord will do new things. I will thing. see the goodness of God the goodness in the of name of Jesus. The name now call the name of Jesus. Jesus. Remember the revival service. Father, revive me again and restore my fortune. If you are sick, tell God, restore my health. If you are struggling in your system, say, Lord, restore my strength. Begin to decree. Begin to decree. Begin to decree. Whatever you want God to restore, begin to say it now. Begin to profess it in the light of the word of God. Father, restore my strength. Restore my strength. Restore my strength. In the name of Jesus, restore my wealth. Restore my health. Restore my joy. Father, restore my honor. Restore my glory. In the name of Jesus, restore the joy of salvation into my heart, O Lord. Restore my ministry. Restore my power. Restore my gift. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray the prayer of restoration. Whatever you have lost, friends of God is here. Oh, restore them. In the name of Jesus, restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. In all ramification, restore me, restore me, restore me mentally, restore me emotionally, restore me maritally, restore me ministerially, restore me in the name of Jesus, restore me, restore me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Lord of restoration will visit you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you shall be fully recovered in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. He will restore you fully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive immediate restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive full restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, in the name that is above every other name, you will lack nothing anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every possibility is removed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. Let every valley vanish before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let every mountain disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read Psalm 34. Psalm 34 and verse 19. Unto me. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects his bones. 
Not I one of them will be broken. Let's take this one. You raise me a new one. Oh, oh Lord. And renew right spirit within me. Creating me a new heart, O oh Lord, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, O oh Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew the spirit within me. I want you to pray. Tell God, Father, restore me and make everything new. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Father in, in the name, name of Lord Jesus. Jesus oh, my God. And Father, restore me anew today. In the name of Jesus. Restore me. Father, restore me by your Father, grace. restore me. And make everything new. In the name of Jesus. New, restore oh me. Restore me. And make everything new. Restore my family, in restore the name my of family Jesus. oh Lord. Father, restore my joy. Restore, restore my strength. New. In the in name the of Jesus. Jesus. Father, make everything new. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. When God remembers you, he will undo all the works of enemy in your life. Let's read 1 John 3 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. You are going to pray. Don't worry. Let's turn into prayer. Father, today, undo all the works of the enemy in my life. Whatever the enemy has done in my life, I want you to pray so you are listening to me. Tell God, whatever enemy has done in your life, tell God to undo them. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray, O Lord, that this morning, right now, you will visit me and undo all the works of the wicked one in my system. In the name of Jesus. And undo there are some people looking at me. Maybe you have ailments in your body. Tell God, Jesus, Father, Father, visit me. Visit Touch me, me O oh Lord. And undo whatever the enemy has done in my system. In the name of Jesus. And power of God will reach you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, visit me now. Touch me now and remove all the works of the wicked in my life. Undo them. Destroy them. Undo them. In the mighty name of Jesus. By your mercy, by your grace. Every evil thing is done to my destiny. Undo. In my marriage, Father, undo them. In my ministry, Father, undo them. Upon our children, Father, undo them. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In your life and in my life, all the works of devil is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We want to continue. When God remembers you, he will perform wonders without number in your life. Job 9.10. When God remembers you, he will perform wonders without number. Job 9 10. Job 9 10. Mm. He performs wonders mm -hmm. that cannot be fathomed. Can you see? Miracles that cannot be counted. Can you see? So you are going to tell God that visit me today. And do what only you can do. Signs and wonders. Miracle without number. To case your glory upon me. Turn me to a miracle. 
that people will be looking, is that not the same person? Let's begin to pray. Let's Father, begin to talk to God. In the name of, in the name of Father, Jesus. My God, According to your word, O Lord. Visit me, visit me O Lord. Do what only you and do, do what only you life, can do. In, home, in, the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Perform Jesus. signs and wonders. Wonders without number. In my life. In the name of Jesus. Visit me, O Lord. Wonders that cannot in the mighty name of Jesus. Be able that cannot be worked out. Wonders, wonders, wonders. In, in the mighty name, name of Jesus, Jesus. visit me, O Lord, Lord. Your and says, perform wonders, perform signs, perform healing. In the name of Jesus, let that be manifestation of your power and your visitation today. In the name of Jesus, give me a new song. Lift me, O Lord, restore me, visit me, and make me whole again. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed, Amen. and so shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will not miss divine visitation today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 71, as we round up, verse 20 and 21. Psalm 71, verse 20 and 21. Though, you have, though you have made me see troubles, mm -hmm. many and bitter, you will restore my life again yeah. from the depths of the earth. You will again bring me up. Mm -hmm. You will increase my honor Amen. and comfort me once again. Amen. Amen. David Amen. said that. You have Amen. seen many troubles. So don't worry what you've been through. Forget about what, 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 has, what has gone. Apostle Paul said, I don't think about what is behind me. I look forward. I press on. So I believe, according to Isaiah 48, 318. God is going to do new things in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You want to use that Bible verse to pray. Say, Lord, increase me on every side. Restore my life again. Pray that prayer very well. Increase me. Comfort me. Lift me. Give me breakthrough on every side. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Father in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, according to according your to word, word is one, Lord, I pray that you will increase me Father, on every in the side. name of Jesus. In the name of Lord, Jesus. I, pray I pray that from today, from today you will move me you forward. Move me forward. From my pit, you will from my past, you will, you will move me forward. You in the name of Jesus, by your you mercy, Lord, I pray that you will restore my life again. In, in the, the mighty, mighty name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray Father, that I pray you will bring me up. You raise me up by your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray that you will bring me up. Ask God to lift you up. In Ask God to Jesus, lift your head up. Ask God to increase you. Ask God to enlarge you on every side. Tell God to comfort you on, on every side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No more affliction. Revive me again. Restore me again. In the name of Jesus. Increase me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Tell God, Father, before this month is over, Amen. let your mighty hand perform signs and wonders in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Father, in the name Lord, of Jesus, before Father, month, before this month of September is over, let your great hand, great your mighty hand, perform life, great, my great home, things in my in life, my in my ministry, in, in my Jesus. home, O oh Lord, Father, Lord. Perform great and mighty things this before this month is over. Month, let the mighty hand of God Father, perform great things in the mighty name of Jesus. Signs and wonders. Wonders without numbers, Jesus. healing, Lord, lifting, increase, Jesus. honor, glory. Before this name. month is over, let, let it be my portion. Showcase your glory upon my life. Help me, life. send helpers to me. Jesus. Perfect Father, all that concerns me. Before Christ. September is over, in the, in the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Father, Glory. Lord, in Jesus', Jesus. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Say after me, O oh God of heaven and heart, oh God of heaven and let, your let your presence go before me, go before me. Always. always. Open your mouth and pray, Father, Father in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus my Father, my O oh God, God of let heaven and earth, as we depart from the presence, O oh Lord, let your Jesus. presence go Lord, before me and my family always. My father, my I will Lord. never walk out of God's presence. 
in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, the presence of God we always go with me. The presence of God we go with my family. We pray for those who are listening to us this morning and watching us that your presence will rest upon them. We will not walk out of your presence. Your mercy will never depart from us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise to you. We appreciate you. Let's begin to give God's praise this morning. Let's thank you. God has done the work of restoration in our life. He has redeemed our life again. He has performed signs and wonders. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. Thank you for honoring us with your presence this morning. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your strength. Spirit, thank, you thank you for the enablement. Thank you for the gift of spirit. We thank you for the work of healing. Thank you for deliverance. We praise you. We thank you. We bless you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, in the name of Jesus. Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless your name this morning. We thank you for this hour. Thank you, thank you because you visit us indeed. Thank you for your presence among us. Be glorified again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you will revive our life again in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will redeem us again in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will restore us again in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will lift up up again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will comfort us on every side Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your power will rest upon us afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From today, your grace will be more than enough for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We decree and declare that your mercy, your grace, will never depart from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your presence will abide with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And your power and your glory will perfect all that has to do with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will increase our peace. Amen. You will give us joy Amen. and rest Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before this month is over, you will do great and mighty things in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we will sing a new song. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayer. You. May your name forever be praised. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Give God glory. Give God glory. Hallelujah. If you have been blessed this morning, give God glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him adoration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage us to remember to pay our tithe. If you belong to this ministry, your tithe belongs to us. If you are not belong to this ministry or to this church, your tithe belongs to your church. Let's remember to pay our tithe. The Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to remind us to join us, join us on Tuesday our prayer at 8 p.m. The Lord will do signs and wonders in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will move once again among, among us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's invite our friends and family to partake in the prayer. Lord shall be well in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. If Amen. Christ tarries, we will see each and every one of us in the month of October in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not die before your time in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we glorify your name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May, May the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, God and, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Say to yourself, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout one big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Glory. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. And have a wonderful week. Amen. Bye for now.